Today, we're starting a, a bathroom. Old school way. We're going to paper wire and put mortar on there. Back aboard the floor, so another complete tile job. But old school method on the tub. I know you've been waiting for it. So I'm going to give it to you. It's awesome. <laughs> stapling in with a hand stapler. This is waterproof paper and underlayment for the tile. Get it at Home Depot. Staples we'll be using is right here. This is Aquabar paper. It's, it's great. There's 20 gate. Now we have that 20, here we go. Now we have the 20 gauge wire on the wall. We just stapled it with the old hand. We're outside mixing up the mortar. We're using sand, cement, and lime. A four to one ratio. Four sand, one cement, and one lime. We just add the water, not too much at a time little bit at a time and we'll start chopping it back and forth. We kind of make it like a stucco mix, not too loose. Once it's ready, the fat mud we pour onto a mud board and we're ready to start floating. The fun begins. Here's some tools, metal edge. We'll just use a hawk and trowel and just slap it on the wall. Try to keep about a half inch thickness along the whole wall. When you pound in your strips, uh, you've got plenty of room. Once you get all your mud on the wall, you put quarter inch float strips made out of wood. Then you get your six foot level. And you gently tap it in with a rubber hammer. I mean, this is why mortar on the wall is so great, man. You can make any bow or, or hump flat. It'll just take his rubber hammer in and it'll just tap it in ever so slightly, going up and down. And just eyeball it, and here you go. We'll just tap that thing in. You don't have to pound on it, just a couple of taps to get it nice and plump. And as you can see the level is nice and plumb so our strip is flat and plumb in the wall then the next thing he's gonna do is take uh, a metal edge and just start riding off the mud with a seesaw motion going back and forth and here he goes he's just kind of checking to see if he's got enough mud on there and once he does he's gonna go for it there he goes, just seesaw, pretty simple. With that lime, it keeps the mud on the wall. You need that lime in the uh, fat mud. And you don't want that fat mud too loose. You want it just right. Like I say, like a stucco. Have you ever seen people doing stucco? We do the same consistency. And it'll just go all the way up the wall. And man, this makes your wall flat, smooth, so easy to tile compared to backer board or wonder board. And you just kind of marking where it's low. And it'll just go up the wall so easy man it's a muddy job is the way to go it comes out a little bit more prep but man when you go to set the tile it's nice and flat when you take out your strips they leave these voids and you just throw in some more fat mud nothing to it just fill it up then you take your flat trowel and you go along the wall and you just get off all the excess. See this? My flat steel flat trowel. I'll just go right up the wall and make sure it's, I get off all this excess mud. That makes it super flat. Now what I did is I sped up the camera, the film, so you can really see. I just take the flat trowel and I said, keep it flat against the wall. It's getting all that mud left over. Filling up the strips. Just keep that steel trowel flat against the wall, you won't dig in, 
and let the mud sit up a little before you do this. Use two hands if you have to. Go up. Rod it off so you don't have any bumps. And then you go along the top. Down. And then I use my wood float to really flatten it out. Smooth it. Now just go along any bumps. I'll knock them down, make it a nice, smooth, flat, flat, ultimate, flat, smooth finish for tile, man. Tile loves it when, it, and then I'll go really go around these uh, plumbing fixtures, man, because you don't want any humps in there when you set the tile. It's nice and flat, and the tile setting goes so easy. Believe me, this is the way to go when you set a, a, a wall. I mean, backer board get humps. It just follow this way. You can get it plumb flat, smooth, so when you set your tile, it's so easy, I mean, I've done backboard jobs, and I'll always want to float a tub out or a shower any day, look at that, it's making it nice and flat, it's so sweet, go along the top, knock anything off, oh yeah, and there you have it, our job ready for tile, flat, smooth, plumb, so easy to set, man, it's a dream, Floating is the only way to go. Now I'm going to tell you what tools you need. You need a four foot level. You need some spaces, wedges, eighth inch spaces is what I chose to use on this job. A suction cup works great. I mean a bucket of water and a sponge to keep your hands clean. A three eighths notch trowel, a pointer, a bucket for thin set. And that thing on the floor is my rat tail that help clean up when I'm done basically uh, simple tools keep your hands clean man it's you need that bucket of water clean hands are next thing I do is I go around and I look at the tub and I make sure it's level and this one's pretty level man they said it good I'll check all the edges with my four foot level there and it's good man it's gonna be an easy tub to set now if you don't check it out and you start man you could run into some problems always check before you begin another thing I'll let you know is the back of the tub always has some whoop de woos it always has a uh, right there I mean you get a dip right there always so watch out make sure when you sit that row it's flat so all and then at the edge it always kicks up so now when you uh, trowel out your thin set, just make sure it's not globby and you comb it out even. 45 degree angle on the trowel and just like you're combing your hair before you go out. So that nice and perfect, no globs. The tile's going to go, if you have any globs, your tile will not be even. So keep the trowel and just sweep, man. Even is the key. And make sure your thin set's not oozing off the wall that's the right consistency it'll just go so simple there you go man like I said like combing your hair okay we got our first row up and I use wood along the soapbox so when you pull it out the next day it doesn't uh, chip the... since I got that first row level and flat man my second row is just going off man so easy man but the walls are flat and you're making that first row perfectly flat and level and the walls just go up no problem easy poof just like magic the, the back wall is up now you're ready to tackle your other wall and that's why I use wood sticks in the soapbox there if you notice do not use anything hard because when you pull them up the next day and this tile is great because it's got these designs in it, man. This, this job came out sweet. Look at that waves in there. She picked out an awesome tile, man. This is sweet. I love doing this job. And you just repeat the process on the right wall. Make sure it's flat and level and you just go right up the wall. And that tile that comes over the side of the tub is called a leg. Just This is the way I mark them. It's pretty easy. I just flip them backside. I put my level against the tile. And I take my pencil. 
see that you got to keep that level nice because most tubs are like out of plumb if you see right there a little bit out of plumb so you just take your level you mark the back side of your tile and it's, it's simple dude it's so simple as you can see another perfect cut by using that method another thing you want to do is make sure your wall is flat because once you uh, put the uh, the door on there, the shower door, man, if you got a little hump, a little dip or a hump, you're going to see it and it'll affect your shower door. So make sure it's flat. And when you put it on the, you know, I'll put it on the side here. And as I go up, I keep my level. Come on, Dave. And there we go. I'll put it along the side as we go up to keep it all nice and plump. So that's another trick for you guys. And I sped up this. You just use your grinder to back cut these holes in. You don't want to go too deep. Always check it on. You just want the blade to just barely come through that other side, man. That way when you pop that, that tile out, you'll see it. You can make it like a little hole. Do not go too deep. Especially if you don't have a lot of tile, man. Just take your time. Wear glasses and eye protection and ear protection and a mask because it gets kind of uh, dirty so be careful let's go back and forth now I'm going to knock this out just ever so slightly see I didn't come all the way through and man I can make a nice little hole see that just lightly tap it on it and that's how I get those little holes man see back cutting now I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna flip it over the side, and I use the tape because some of those tiles hard to mark. So tape is your best bet, and I'll use my grinder and just start off flat like this, and let the let the grinder do the work for you. Don't go too fast. Take your time. Be an artist. Try to get a nice round cut. You'll see. I'm not even forcing. I'm just letting the weight of the grinder do the work for me. And it, you'll see that the, the blade will actually make a nice round hole for you. Like I said, just take your time and have some fun doing it. I love cutting holes in tile, man. It's nothing better. You're relaxing. I got my earplugs in. I'm oblivious to anything. I'm just trying to make a, a perfect hole. Every time I do this, man, I just I want to make it perfect. So I just get my little zone and I go for it. And there you go two holes perfectly done installed man you can't go wrong a little grinder man and you will need a tile saw for this job so you might have to run one or buck so my walls are up they look sweet now i'm going to show you another critical thing here on the side here now we're going to use a surface bull nose to trim out all this stuff and all these joints are look. Remember that trick I told you with the wedges and the spaces to keep the joints even? See that? That's called the reveal right there. That space between the tile and the edge of the wall there. You want to keep it all the same. So when you put your surface bull nose there, it's perfect with that wall. If you don't keep it the same, it's going to look funky. So always keep that reveal or the space right there the same as you go up the wall. Now I loaded up the uh, piece of backup board because your surface bull nose only comes in three inches and I don't like a little cut behind there so I put backup board I'll slap it in the back there it fills up the gap you can use tile if you want but backup board is a half inch that's why I like it plus it's waterproof and as you can see my piece of tiles in back I load up the back of the piece of tile same way and I put it in there and then make sure your design is the same as your outside walls don't <laughs> put your tile in there not lining it up see they're the same so sometimes they're different but make sure they're the same make sure that space around the box inside the box is all the same tape measure it if you want that joint when the surface bullnose is all the same wow the soap box is all done and man it sure looks sweet all the joints are all uniformed and even that's critical because everybody looks at it so keep them all okay 
Okay, I've been uh, putting on the surface bullnose. I just wanted to stop and show you guys how stiff the thin set should be when you're doing it. Make it stiff, man, it'll go in. You can see how stiff that stuff is? Now it just gives you something to push against when you're pushing and setting these trims, so keep it stiff. Okay, I'm laying out for my floor, I, my tub's all done, I got my, uh, I'm screwing up this, I'm using my six foot level again, I love using that thing for a straight edge, and I'm checking my cuts, this room was pretty square, it's called a, the, the dry set in there, I just set the tile on the floor to see what kind of cuts I'm going to get, and this room worked out perfect, I mean, no little cuts, no little slivers, and I'm just showing you, you know, Make sure it's all the same. I got my first row in. And remember, when you try like your thin set, just like the wall, keep it nice and even. Don't let your thin set be too loose. Another thing you want to do is check around the drain, that toilet flange. There's always a hump there. So just make sure before you begin, it's all flat. We're just cruising along here. The floor is just flopping in, man. So easy. As I'm setting this floor, I'm running my hands over it. Make sure it's flat. I'm pushing where it's needed. But this floor was pretty flat. I checked it out before I started. So this tile just, I've been going in easy. It looks great, too, man. I love it when the floor is flat. I run my hands over it so I don't get any toe catchers. And it's just a beautiful floor. Look at that. 8-inch spacers. You keep that first row straight, man, and the rest of the floor goes in. Now I'm going to show you how to mark this cut. Flip it over. This is a point to point because it's a, a angled cut. You just mark the top, the bottom there. Mark the top. You flip it over, and you put an edge here. And you make a mark. Uh, a mark. And there you go. One more cut to go. Floors all in, and now I gotta clean up everything and grout. And look at that blue tape, all these blue tape and blue rock carpet. And again, I'm going like crazy. Make sure when you mix your grout, let it sit for five minutes before you start doing this. Make sure everything's nice and clean. I'm just 45 degree angle with your rubber, use a rubber grout trowel, and make sure any dark colored grout stains like crazy. So. If you think it's going to stain something, tape it up with blue tape. Use it like a squeegee, see? I'm getting it all up. I'm just going like crazy. Loving it. Almost done. Yes. Okay, I'm washing the floor up. Just scrubby dub dub. Make sure all the joints are nice and even. Going in with my fingers. Um, I'll flip it once. Flip it twice, you don't see me really dragging along too much. I go diagonal, see? Once, twice. There you go. Clean water. If, you, if your water's getting dirty, get some clean water. You'll, you'll be glad you did. There I go. Just not be too grouting. Get the joints all nice and even. Another floor, sometimes do a second wash on it. And I'm showing before I even entered this job what it looked like nothing they ripped it out and got it ready for me so this is before and this is with the job all done it came out beautiful I mean you put that some good tile and do yourself a favor hit the subscribe today like I said these videos are just getting better and better and I've been sitting tile for a long time over 28 years Man, I love doing tile, man. There's nothing better than to leave a job well done. You go back, you take some videos. After they set their plumbing in that, man, hit that subscribe button today. Do yourself a favor. That button right down there, you see it, the red one. Hit it. Hit that button. You're going to want it. 
this is the the tile I used on the uh, floor, a 12 by 24. And this is the tile I used on the walls, a 12 by 24. So I hope you enjoyed it. On to the next tile job. Don't miss out. Hit the subscribe.